Hello, this is the TradeSite Forex Market Preview and International Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Sunday the 23rd of February 2020, ending the Friday the 28th. Hope you had a good trading week. Here's a look at the uh, dollar index daily chart as we uh, hit new highs, broke out, uh, had a strong week early, and then gave it all back basically on Friday, at least Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Remember, we were closed Monday. Monday was a U.S. bank holiday. So... Uh, up, 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 breakout, and then just came it all back very quickly. Kind of a strange pattern for something where the Forex market's been so dead for so long, and then to get a big move and reverse it. Here's the Euro dollar, which had already broken the lows. It was just a little ahead of the dollar index hitting new highs. Usually they're the inverse of each other. Um, and then just the inverse, basically. Head down days and then reversed back up on Friday. The pound dollar, on the other hand, still flat, stuck between this risk line from the 13 sell signal, which has been the top, but then the red static trend line, so that's the uh, trade site secret doing its work, uh, picking the support and resistance points properly. Aussie dollar uh, did crack to new lows. This thing's uh, 11 candles down now on a uh, on the daily chart on the seeker. Euro yen uh, bounced pretty good. Pound yen didn't do much at all. Pound Swiss didn't do much at all. And the New Zealand dollar uh, broke to new lows again. All right. Uh, here's the uh, intra-week action, 30-minute candles. Again, remembering that Monday was a holiday. That's why it's so flat. High to low for the week is basically covered just in Friday's session, and it's not even 100 pips on the euro dollar, which is not good. That's why we didn't really call anything in the euro dollar this week. The pound dollar, on the other hand, uh, high to low for the week is almost, uh, let's call it 180 pips. Again, Monday being the holiday, Tuesday kind of back and forth, Wednesday rolled over, Thursday lower. We had a nice continuation trade, and then Friday we made money on the way back, moving it up. Uh, made my own way long side, so that was pretty good. Uh, so, you know, it was a decent week from that perspective. It was a short week with the holiday, and it is what it is. Let's look at the week ahead. So uh, Sunday we've got the G20 meetings. We've got retail sales out of New Zealand along with uh, Japan going on a holiday to start the week, and then credit card spending out of New Zealand at 9 p.m. Eastern time on Sunday. Monday, no doubt in the U.S., uh, go to wholesale inventories out of Canada, CB leading index out of China, uh, Fed members speaking here in the UK. We've got uh, Japan's SPPI Monday night. German final GDP going to Tuesday. Ten-year bond auction out of the UK. CBI realized sales out of the UK. Corporate profits out of Canada. Housing price index out of here in the US at 9 a.m. Eastern time. CB consumer confidence at 10. Rich in manufacturing index at 10. Uh, we've got uh, BRC shop price index out of the UK. Construction work done out of Australia. Japan's got their core CPI at midnight going into Wednesday, uh, Eastern Time. Chris, Credit Suisse, Chris, Credit Suisse economic expectations out of Switzerland at 4 a.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. New home sales here in the U.S. at 10. Crude oil inventories at 10.30. Trade balance out of New Zealand that night. So up to this point in the week, not really a lot here. Business confidence out of New Zealand. Private capital expenditure out of Australia. Uh, Spanish flash CPI. M3 money supply. Private loans here in Europe. Uh, or in Europe, sorry, uh, MPC, no, it's a speech, uh, Italian 10-year bond auction at some point on Thursday, current account out of Canada, along with the second look, preliminary GDP, that's not the first look, the advanced number last month, so this is not as important, uh, but again, the GDP numbers weren't that great, uh, durable goods at, here in the U.S., the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims numbers, pending home sales at 10, natty gas at 10.30, Going into Thursday night, going into Friday, really, Japan's Tokyo Core CPI and unemployment rate, preliminary industrial production, retail sales. UK consumer confidence at 7 p.m. Eastern time, Thursday night. Private sector credit out of Australia. Housing starts out of Japan. German import prices out of Europe. Nationwide HPI out of the UK. German preliminary CPI. Retail sales out of Switzerland. French consumer spending. French preliminary CPI. French preliminary GDP. Uh, we've got the economic barometer number out of Switzerland at 3 a.m. Eastern time. German unemployment change, Italian preliminary CPI, Canada's GDP, RMPI, IPPI, uh, core price index out of the U.S. along personal income and spending, goods trade balance, preliminary wholesale inventories, uh, Chicago PMI, man, a lot of data in the U.S. Uh, here on uh, Friday, uh, revised University of Michigan sentiment, and then uh, that's it. So, uh, you know, some stuff, but none of it's our big three, and none of it is uh, is obviously the uh, the Fed meeting or another rate announcement or a first look at GDP. So it's 
it's it's a lot of data, but it's none of the top line data, and that's all you can really say about that. Uh, so we'll look forward to hopefully another um, decent week in Forex. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading week to wrap up February.